Welcome to the party, pal. Your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, back with you once again. And might I add, if you don't mind, you're looking quite dapper today. I am impressed. Speaking of today, we're going to be discussing my top 10 favorite boutique Blu-ray box sets of 2020. We are racing towards the end of this god-awful year. Uh, very thankful for that. I'm sure you are as well. Hopefully things will start looking up in 2021. Fingers tightly crossed. Before we get to the box set goodness, though, I'm going to give you a gift. What? Yes, you heard correctly. I'm going to give you a gift. Well, one of you is going to get a gift. Um, uh, I, I did this before in a previous video. And uh, I gave away a copy of Hatfields and McCoy's The Miniseries here. Uh, my subscriber, Mark Mitchell, won. Mark, congratulations on that. I'm going to be mailing this out uh, in the coming week. So, so stay tuned to your mailbox. I'll email you and let you know when, when this is... Uh, uh, out and away to you. But today I'm giving away another film, and uh, it is the uh, Norwegian semi-classic uh, Christmas Cruelty here. I'm trying to not get glare on it so you can see a little better. It is a killer Santa Claus film all the way from Norway. Uh, it has some really gory set pieces in this. As far as I know, it's only been on DVD. Very rare film to find, but uh, Christmas Cruelty can be yours. I'm going to tell you how to do that. Throughout the video, uh, well, one time in the video, it, somewhere in it, I'm not going to tell you when. You have to watch the whole thing to make sure you spot it. Uh, I'm going to pop in a, uh, a little Disney character. Just boop, he'll pop in and out somewhere in the corner or, you know, uh, you know, maybe in the middle of the screen when I'm going like this and you just don't notice or I'm, I'm showing a cover and then psh, it'll just show up for like literally a split second. Um, it could be, I, I said he, it could be a she. I, I haven't really decided who I'm going to pop in yet. That happens in editing. But um, to pop in, then what I want you to do is go down in the comments and want you to say, Hey, Master Chaos, you're looking so sexy today, and I spotted blah, blah, blah. I'm just kidding. You don't have to, you don't have to tell me who you spotted. Just tell me I look sexy. That's, that's cool, too. But yeah, let me know in the comments who you spot, and uh, Christmas Cruelty will be yours if you're the first one to come in with an answer, okay? First one to drop it in. By the way, uh, somebody who's won previously cannot win again. This is just something fun I'm going to start doing. For my subscribers, you know, um, randomly in episodes, I'm going to be giving away one movie. So not many movie YouTubers that do that. Uh, but I think I I'd like to start giving back to, to, to the people that subscribe, the people that are loyal, the people that, 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 that like and comment and, and, and all that stuff. Uh, I want to give back a little bit because I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing that time with me. Enough of that uh, hoo-ha and uh, goo -ga. Let's get to the box sets. Now, I'm going to have 10. There's technically 11, which is an honorable mention. But uh, what I'm going to do is not present it in any kind of order. These are, it's not like number one to number 10 kind of a thing. I'm just going to show you 10 of my favorite because I honestly can't pick. The thing about a box set is it's, it's really usually built around a theme. You know, either a filmmaker, an actor, a type of movie. And I can't say one box set beats one over the other because like, there could be three good movies and maybe 10 crap movies. Or there could be one good movie and the western whatever. You know, uh, there could be maybe 12 movies that I'll revisit and one that I won't, but it's so bad that it maybe sours the whole lot. So I can't give you a, this is the number one favorite. I'm just going to give you 10 of my favorite that you may have picked up, you may not have picked up, or you're not aware of. Well, pal, that's why I'm here. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's kick it off with a banger. Number 10, the Bruce Lee Greatest Hits box set. From Criterion, this is a must-have. Let's say you don't have a Criterion collection just yet. Well, pal, you know what? You got to get one. You should, you should start with the Bruce Lee box set. Well, first, let me show you what's in it. You get this really lovely, old-school-looking, kind of like Kung Fu magazine. Who, I, I used to get these. Who didn't get these? At least, you know, leaf through them. Uh, you got some pictures of a half-naked Bruce Lee there. Uh, a couple of, yeah. But basically, it's like... It's basically, it's your typical booklet, but uh, in magazine form. I love that. Hey, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God. Uh, I did a full review on this uh, box set. I'm going to link it above so you guys can check it out. Um, I'm just going to show you briefly the inside if you haven't seen that or you don't remember. The discs are laid out like such. Just gorgeous. All his movies, all five movies are here. They look amazing. They look really cleaned up. FYI, parents. There's a lot of nudity in these Bruce Lee movies. I had no idea. I totally forgot about that. Here we are watching him kick some guys, and then all of a sudden there's boobies. Whoa! Okay, Bruce. Who doesn't love a sexy ghost story? I know I do. Of course, the Amityville films aren't necessarily the sexiest ghost stories, so forget I even mentioned it. 
Just kidding. We're talking Amityville. Uh, this is, of course, the Amityville box set uh, brought to us by the fine, wonderful, equally sexy people at Vinegar Syndrome. Amazing. Just just the box set alone, I think a lot of people were kind of like creaming their jeans over. You lift the top here. This is one of the... Uh, I think I'm talking about three of these. Three different ones. Let me know. Four different ones that open like this. Top load with designs on the top. Really hard case. And you've got this nice black, uh, uh, black and bloody border here. Actually, I just noticed that that's black blood or oil. That's not blood. Usually about four movies in these types of set. Empty uh, container. And you get four movies. I reviewed all of these, by the way, on Mastercast Theater. If you have not seen it, please go check it out. Um, we've got... Let's go in order, shall we? Four. Then I'll put it back in here so we save time in cleaning up. Four. Then my favorite is... Amityville, It's About Time, with the lovely Megan Ward. Great movie. Well, great on a sliding scale. You, you, you know what I mean. Amityville, New Generation, which I think is, is, is pretty crap. Uh, Amityville, Dollhouse is tits. Not all the movies in here are good. I think one of... You know, maybe two of them. One of them is great, because I have fond memories, and that's It's About Time. Um, uh, one of them is really good, and is really fun, and that's Dollhouse. And the other two I will never watch again. Unless I completely forget about them, I'm like, oh, did I like those? Were, were, there, were those movies good? And it is technically sold out at the moment. So uh, if you didn't get this, you can't anymore unless you're um, unless you're willing to, to, to lay out some serious cash on eBay. Numero ocho right here. He came from the swamp. This is the William Griffey collection. I just added this uh, to my uh, lovely, lovely collection that my wife also loves. This gorgeous excellent looking box it was released by arrow and i'm so happy that they gave william griffey the treatment he deserves this comes with seven movies technically eight because uh it includes a feature-length documentary all about bill's work uh, first of all there's a poster which um well i'll show you real quick while we're here why not uh, why the hell not i still have to put this you know, i'm gonna leave this out because i'm putting this on my office wall it says, uh, welcome, welcome to Florida, right? Yeah, welcome to Florida. There's Bill. And then the other side is artwork from the box. Uh, this comes with a hardcover book, which is really nice, all about the films. Really lovely. It's almost like, uh, you know, it's almost like a, uh, uh, you bought a, a book in a store. Like that, that, that kind of quality hardback uh, edition. You have Sting of Death and the Death Curse of Tart 2. Death films. Then you have these are these feel kind of thin compared to other blues. You have Hooked Generation and the Psychedelic Priest, which I haven't seen either of those to be honest. So I'll probably start there. Mako Jaws of Death and the Naked Zoo. Uh, Mako is really fun. Highly recommend that one. And then Whiskey Mountain and what's the other one? Oh, and then uh, they came from the swamp. That's the Bill Griffey documentary. So you get eight movies uh, in this just gorgeous box set you get a wonderful hardcover book which makes for some really fun reading if you don't know anything about his movies or if you're just interested in filmmaking and in that era fantastic read um and uh just this will look so so sex on your shelf absolutely and a poster ah oh, can't miss it you, you can't beat it get it get it get it let's swoop on over to fancy town for three fantastic journeys by carl zaman the criterion collection release carl zaman is somebody i had not ever heard about but this is the fun of being a film collector and being a film fan it is every day a constant journey of discovery you'll find something like oh my god how did i not know that existed i need that in my life this is a similar case for carl zaman but the packaging is what makes this box set very interesting well much more interesting than just getting them normally it is a digi pack so keep that in mind for folks who don't like digi packs so there's a die cut here as you can see i love that uh, but of course, that can bend if uh, you're not careful with it. This is sort of a, a, a newspaper article style um, booklet about the making of the the production. You know, sort of the uh, uh, you know the, the history of Zaman's work. Really beautiful. I love the old-fashioned kind of uh, steampunk aesthetic, and that's one of the reasons I also gave it to Mistress Kel. She loves she loves steampunk stuff. There's Mr. Zaman with a lovely sentiment. I have only one wish to delight the eyes and heart of every child. I agree with that. I also want to do that. But for grown-up kids who 
like crappy movies. Okay, and then the back, <laughs> the back of the box, uh, right there, the little back of the uh, um, trifold kind of a deal here. This is very interesting. Are you ready for this? This blew me away. Thoroughly blew me away. So it folds out like this. Okay, these are the three movies featured in the set. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Three movies featured in the set. There's a hidden magic in these movies. First, of course, we're talking about the film Journey to the Beginning of Time, his dinosaur film. You ready for this? Peep it. Peep it. Look at that. It's a pop-up. Isn't that crazy? They did a pop-up for this movie. And the disc is in there. So you got to be careful how you hold this movie. But this is this whole set, or it'll all come crapping out on the side there. The Baron Munchausen film. Check this out. Whoa! Look at that. Whee! Invention for Destruction. Look at this. Damn, that is so cool. I love it. So good. I'm really happy. Can't wait to watch these, uh, uh, you know, restored on 4K with my lovely wife, who's a big fan of this type of movie. I think this is gonna, this, this is really gonna make our movie nights uh, a lot more magical. I've saved this box set for number six because uh, part six is my favorite film in this massive franchise here. This is, of course, the Friday the 13th box set from Scream Factory, a uh, massive undertaking, no doubt, putting all these movies together, getting the licenses, there's the spines. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on every disc. I, I, I already did a full review and unboxing on this guy, so I'm not, I'll, I'll spare you those details. Most likely you have this already anyway. The artwork is just so gorgeous. How many people, let me know in the comments, how many people put their, uh, uh, store their box set uh, on their lovely shelves facing this way? Because why not? Why would you hide the artwork? You, you, wh wh you know what the movie is. If you want an individual movie, just flip it around. Just flip it around, right? Twelve movies in the, you know, the, the franchise plus an extras disc. Would I watch the whole thing again? Probably not. I'd watch my favorites. Part six, part four. Part three, I think, is a masterpiece. But I'm glad I have it regardless, though, because it looks... It looks, as Abraham Lincoln says, tits on a shelf. Before we continue, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you do, you'll see me tomorrow. Master Chaos comes at you daily. And you know what? I have such a wonderful time hanging out with you, chatting movies. That uh, I hope, I really hope we get to meet each other once again, my friend. It, uh, it, it would be a great tragedy if this is the first and last time we meet. So please, join the party. There's room enough for one more. See you tomorrow, because I'll be here, so I hope you will be as well. Number five, let's get sleazy with the Lindsay Baker box set from Severin Films. Gorgeous box set here. Uh, really just exquisite. You get four sleaze-filled films. And there's the box set back here with the writing and the little twirly picture. The side has the titles as well. This one opens similar to the Amityville box set. Um, not as uh, not as intricate on the design on the inside. I feel like that's kind of lost opportunity there. I don't know. Maybe well, like a booby or something. I don't know. Jazz it up a little bit. I feel Vinegar Center really knows how to really knows how to sex up their packages. This feels a little blank to me. Uh, the films are treasures, and I mean you know like trash treasure kind of things when it comes to uh, Italian. Giallo. I'm trying to really get the pronunciation right on that one. Giallo. It sounds like Jello. Giallo. And I feel very Italian when I say it that way. I used to say Giallo because, well, I'm Cuban, and uh, it, it, the word looks like gallo, which means chicken or, or rooster, I should say. So um, to me, it just sounds like gay, uh, gallo or giallo. So uh, Giallo. Enough of that pronunciation talk. Let's get into what these movies are. There's Knife of Ice with the lovely black Amre. Put that back in there so it looks nice and uh, settled. Then you got Orgasmo. I'm going to not cover up the sexy stuff there. Orgasmo, which is a very strange, very strange film. Actually, Knife of Ice is the only one in this set I haven't seen yet. I haven't had a chance to finish this. Too much to do. So sweet, so perverse here. Really strange, kind of a three-way movie there. Uh, a story, I should say. Uh, and then A Quiet Place to Kill, which was okay. I will say overall, I would probably not be rewatching any of these. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I probably will not be rewatching any of the Lindsay Baker box set. I feel the movies are a little too slow. It, it, here's the thing with these movies, though. It's the endings, the twist endings that really make these movies pop. 
And without that ending, they're kind of nothing. The movies aren't very uh, rewatchable, um, and they're very slow uh, going through it. But historically, and as a collector, this is a great box to have. Next up, kind of a two-parter for a four and a three. And uh, we're going to start with Forgotten Gialli. Ah, I did it again. God damn it. Forgotten Gialli, Volume 1. Uh, Forgotten Gialli, Volume 1 from Vinegar Syndrome here. Here are the films. You get three movies that I've never heard of. And I guess that's the point. The top comes off. And look at this. Look at that. Same thing as the... As the uh, Lindsay Baker one, yellow, except here they throw in some artwork. You know what? It's just that simple touch. A simple little touch just makes the box even more interesting, even more poppy for me, uh, even more collectible, if, uh, if if I can use that word. I'm going to open it like this. A rigid case, by the way. Comes with three films. I did a review on this one as well on the channel. Full review on the entire box set. Uh, this is The Killer is one of 13. You got uh, Trauma. And then you get the police are blundering around in the dark. No, blundering in the dark. And uh, they're kind of shit. They're not great movies. But I guess that's the point of this box set. Forgotten Gialli is supposed to be, you know, Giallis have been forgotten. And you know what? They've probably been forgotten for a reason. Sometimes it's really all about the packaging sometimes. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's, it, that's all that really matters. At the end of the day, whether the movies are bad or not, you still have this really sex looking box set on your shelf and that's magic so i said this was a two-parter they just released a volume two and guess what for number three i get to unbox it oh yeah my kids wrapped this up for me and i said well i got to open it for christmas believe it or not even after my giant lawrence of arabia box set, so i said you know what let me open it on camera for my pal look at this Woo! Forgotten Chiali, Volume 2. Look at that excellent cover. Very exquisite looking design here. Three films in this set as well. I think they've promised two more Forgotten Giallis. This is the other one. Look at this. Gosh, that is exquisite. Oh, man. Just look at the detail and the work on it. I mean, little, little, little blood splatters. I mean, you know that they put even the, even the bottom. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hold on. Oh yeah, look, the bottom's got blood on, on volume one there. Look at this. Look at this, man. Oh my goodness, that is just sex. Creepy little eyes there. Little little, little kind of, you know, um, you know, kind of like, a, what do you call that? Glossy eyes? Yeah, little glossy eyes looking at you. Again, they use this space. They use this space. Why not? This is more artwork space. Look at that. Is that a doll? Okay, yeah. Little doll being stabbed? Why not? Everyone loves that. Uh, let's open up the movies. We have the films, The French Sex Murders, which I've heard, I hear good things about. Um, apparently, that's not that forgotten about. A lot of people knew, knew about that movie. Uh, the Girl in Room 2A. These are all new to me, to be honest. Don't know any of these. And I thought I knew a lot about Gialli, except pronouncing it. Uh, My Dear Killer here. This is the one with the... Um, the whatever, the, the saw blade and the, and the, and the stabbed doll. This is just exquisite for number three. Forgotten Gialli. Gialli? Yeah, I got it right. G Forgotten Gialli. Volume Dos. Number two. Really big. Really big box set. Almost uh, almost too big. You, you would imagine this is a laser disc, but uh, it is not. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's like a collection of like laser discs or LPs. Fantastic. I'm a big Fellini fan. I think uh, of any of the Criterion filmmakers, I think Fellini is my favorite. And uh, I'm going to give you a little, a little look at the box in general. That's the sides. The back has uh, this fun artwork with the, with the movie titles there. And, uh, uh, man, I'm, I'm very impressed by this release. I believe it's 14 Blu-rays. Uh, no, yeah. 15 Blu-rays. Let me see. 15 Blu-rays and, and 14 movies. That's what it was. Okay, my dude, there she blows. This is the uh, kind of sort of the cover of the giant digi pack. There's the back. I'll, I'll open this up. I'm going to make sure nobody's loose in here before I do that. Because they're packed in here kind of wonkily. Which is uh, kind of a downside, but check this out. Oh, baby. And the movie's compact like this. That's what I meant about kind of wonky-ish. Not necessarily, not necessarily the safest. There's no spindle. 
to keep them locked into place so you really have to be delicate there's a, a guide to the films here that's kind of like i love the kind of like checker pattern kind of like italian design here um guide to the films a little write-up about the movies this is a uh, essential fellini essay collection this includes uh, writings on obviously fellini and his films and things like that i believe it's about 100 140 pages so yeah there it is the essential fellini box set is my number two i love it so much it's so great honestly this would probably be my number one pick because i love the packaging i love what they're doing with it i love that they're shedding a light on such a fantastic series of movies um you know maybe he's got one or two that aren't great but overall a lot of the films are here i highly recommend la strada knights of cabiria must have must must have if you love cinema at all and number one can you guess what it is can you guess yeah baby look at that son of a bitch right there the gamma box set look at this thing the gamma box set it's heavy as hell it's got all 12 gamura movies from uh, of course uh, japan a great series of movies well on a sliding scale great i would say the later ones are the best ones at least the best quality ones of course there's that uh, gamma trilogy which is badace there's the spine on that with the uh, nice that uh, they, they listed the movies there that's how you would slide it on your shelf it would if it would fit on a normal shelf of course then the back is of course gamera's back the turtle back and then here is the um uh, the, the individual items in this box set that you would uh, slide out to uh to enjoy your collection before we get to the movies themselves let me show you all the supplemental goodness now arrow is releasing these movies separately not separately they're like box sets you know sort of divided by eras hey hey Sai era and i forget the other one but this is all of them in one and you'll never be able to get this again with all the supplementals namely the gamma comics collection holy bananas and it's got as far as i know yeah the entire entire run of the gamma comics and it just looks so beautiful Ooh, look at that nice let's see if i can find a nice color page for you just exquisite next up is your booklet but this is not your basic booklet this is a gamma sized edition look at all this beautiful stuff oh my gosh god i love that so much this is definitely a gamma sized booklet as you can see it's pretty big it's almost you know magazine size lots of uh lots of pictures and posters write-ups on the movies things like that they even have this section where they do the anatomy of all the monsters how cool is that you know you could probably fool someone into believing this is a book it's not a book you don't have to read it well you do have to read subtitles so i guess there's a little bit of reading involved but uh let's open this up and take a look uh, just at the inside real quick here are the films you see how they're housed this kind of thing so you have to be very delicate with that just gorge us look at this oh my god i'm just so excited to rewatch all these movies beautifully restored lovingly taken care of to me gamma is the unsung hero of kaiju films and then you get like some art cards posters here you get a, a couple of those should definitely should probably go on my wall hands down a masterpiece release here from arrow and deserves the number one spot even though like i said this is in no particular order but if i were to pick this is 100 percent my number one favorite box set of the year if i had to pick from my stack to let's say i had to sell all the other ones off and keep one gamera i would keep 100 percent because i love i love me my turtle meat by the way did you notice the disney character pop up i don't know when it did i don't know if it has already or if it's going to right now i don't know but uh, if you noticed it, make sure you leave it in the comments and I will mail you out a copy of Christmas Cruelty. Just an FYI, only for uh, US subscribers, just because the mail has been getting so crazy due to the pandemic and Christmas shipping and stuff like that. It's It might never, ever get to anyone um, outside of the US. So uh, only US subscribers, uh, please comment down below uh, if you saw the Disney character. Uh, if you're number one, if you're the first one, you'll get Christmas Cruelty in your grubby little hands. Uh, before well probably in the new year with shipping being the way it is why am i holding this this is an honorable mention technically this is 11 box set so this is honorable mention the inner sanctum mysteries collection there's the excellent lon cheney jr there uh, um, showing us his really cheerful side there this is pre-drunken lon cheney jr too so he's really putting in his all on this one uh inner sanctum these movies are probably not the most well-known but they're, uh, they were based on a radio show 
on sort of radio plays. And they made uh, six movies that are now available thanks to uh, Mill Creek. Here, uh, three on three Blu-rays. Uh, three on two, I should say. Uh, six hours and 21 minutes of content. Really great, creepy, atmospheric type kind of uh, not necessarily monster movies. They're, they're like, you know, murder mystery kind of creepy suspense tales. You know, think old radio time, radio time shows, old time radio shows. This is what you'll be getting with this set. You get uh, Calling Dr. Death, A Weird Woman, Dead Man's Eyes, a Pillow of Death, Strange Confession, and The Frozen Ghost. These are really fun films. I highly recommend this if you like old black and white, if you love Lon Chaney Jr., and you love sort of uh, that kind of uh, old-timey radio-type storytelling, you're going to get a kick out of these. These make for some great late-night popcorn viewing. Okay, my dude, that will do. I hope this video has found you well. Uh, I love you. Remember that. Uh, is this coming home with you? I hope so. Please let me know down in the comments if you've seen the mysterious Disney character popping up. Uh, if you have, it's all yours. For now, I'm going to bid you adieu. Uh, the new year approaches, so uh, I'm working on a big resolutions video. I have a lot planned for 2021 for this channel. I hope you'll join me. I really hope you do. I have been your friendly neighborhood master chaos, and do remember, I love you just the way you are. You're good enough. Remember that. And I remain to be continued.